four, we will call to order the meeting for the city of Statesboro Mayor and Council. We'll have our invocation and pledge of allegiance by Council Member Paulette Shavers. Let us pray. God, we thank you for this day and we thank you for everything that you bestowed upon us. And I ask on this morning that you would teach us as leaders how to breed unity throughout our city. In your name, Jesus, I pray and I thank you. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We'll go down to our recognitions and public presentations. This morning we have a presentation of a proclamation recognized in April 2023 as Child Abuse Prevention Month. I thought I could. All right, if you're gonna hold, we're gonna read it first and then have you come up, okay? Uh, and the proclamation reads as follows. A proclamation by the Mayor and City Council of Statesboro, Georgia, Child Abuse Prevention Month, whereas children are critical to Georgia's future success, prosperity, and quality of life. While children are our most valuable resource, they are also our most vulnerable. Children have a right to be safe and an opportunity to thrive, learn, and grow in an environment that fosters healthy development. And whereas children abuse, whereas child abuse and neglect can be prevented by supporting and strengthening Georgia's families, thus preventing the far-reaching effects of maltreatment and providing the opportunity for children to, to develop healthy trust in family bonds, and consequently building the foundations of communities. And whereas effectively intervening in the lives of children threatened by abuse is a shared responsibility, and Georgia citizens must come together so that the voices of our children are heard by all. We all must ensure that our communities are extending helping hands to children and families in need. And whereas effective child abuse prevention strategies succeed because of partnerships created among citizens, human service agencies, schools, faith communities, healthcare providers, civic organizations, law enforcement agencies, and the business community. And whereas, by, by providing a safe and nurturing environment for our children, free of violence, abuse, and neglect, we can ensure that Georgia's children will grow to their full potential as the next generation of leaders, helping to secure the future of this state and nation. Now, therefore, I, Jonathan McCullough, Mayor of the City of Statesboro, do hereby proclaim April 2023 as Child Abuse Prevention Month in the City of Statesboro and urge families and communities to become involved in protecting children, Georgia's children. And with this thereof, I hereunto set my hand in a cause the seal of the City of Statesboro to be affixed this fourth day of April in the year 2023. Laura, if you will. We're going to allow you to say a word or two. Council, if y'all want to come around, we approach you. You're doing good. You're doing good. There you go. Ready? Oh, can't take a step. This one? Yep, right. One, two, three. John. John. Oh, Sorry. Yeah. Um, ready? One, two, three. Oh, my flash didn't go off. One more. One, two, three. Thank you. Okay. You want to say a word too? Yes. Thank you all okay. so very much for this proclamation and for all the work with the initiatives that the city council has put into place, village builders, everything that One Borough is doing. And I'm not just saying that because I'm now serving on One Borough, but we, it takes all of us to strengthen families. And that is the main way that we're gonna prevent child abuse and strengthen our families and have a community where children are thriving and able to experience childhood, you know, free and loved. So thank you all for this. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Mm 
we move down to agenda item four. Public comments. Lydia, do you have any public comments? No, ma'am. Okay, we move down to agenda item five. Consideration of a motion to approve the consent agenda. The consent agenda consists of the approval of the minutes for our March 21st council minutes and executive session, as well as consideration of a motion for approval of surplus and disposition number 2006 Chevy and Paula are in the planning and development department. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. All right, let's move down to agenda item six, which is a public hearing consideration of a motion to approve application for an alcohol license in accordance with the city of states for alcohol ordinance section 6-13a blue mile wine and spirits 12 brand street license type package sales beer wine and distilled spirits is there a motion to open the public hearing so moved. is there a second second all those in favor aye all right kathy are there any issues with this there are no issues mayor okay chief no issues Okay. Chief? No issues, Mayor. Okay. Kane? No issues, Mayor. All right. Uh, is there anyone here to speak for this particular request? Uh, is there anyone here to speak against this particular request? Seeing that there is none, is there a motion to close the hearing? So moved. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, is, is there any council discussion? All right. Seeing that there is none, is there a motion to approve? So moved. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. All right. All right. We move down to agenda item seven, public hearing and consideration of a motion to approve application for an alcohol license in accordance with the city of states for alcohol ordinance section 6-13A. Uh, we have agenda item 7A and 7B. 7A is AMC's state 412 991 Lovett Road, license type restaurant, and then 7B is Blue Mile Pizza, 408 South Main Street, <coughs> license type restaurant. Is there a motion to open the public hearing? So moved. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Uh, planning and zoning? There are no issues on either, um, either uh, application. Okay. Chief? No issues. Chief? No issues, Mayor. No issues, Mayor. Okay. All right. Is there anyone here to speak for this request? Uh, is there anyone here to speak against this request? Right. Seeing that there is none, is there a motion to close the hearing? So moved. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. All right, let's open it up for council discussion. Any discussion by council? Seeing that there is none, uh, is there a motion to approve both 7A and 7B? So moved. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, we'll move down to agenda item eight. Consideration of a motion to execute a professional services agreement with Hussey J. Bell Engineering in the amount to not to exceed $40,320 to provide design, bid, bid grant application, and contract administration services for the extension of sanitary sewer service inside of Fushion Commerce Park to serve as new areas to be paid for with grant proceeds and system revenue. Mr. Penny, if you would give us a little bit of insight on that. Mayor, members of the council, um, the Bruchon Park is, is um, where uh, Aspen Air Jail is located and we are responsible for the infrastructure in that area. Uh, and so we did get a grant of about $1,750,000. The city's putting up uh, half million dollars and, and someone else is going to cover the, the balance. Uh, and so we, this is needed in order for the design work. We recommend approval. Um, this is the project is moving swiftly. I think yesterday we sent you an aerial view, mm -hmm. drone view mm -hmm. of uh, Aspen Air Jail, and so it is coming up quickly. We do recommend approval of the contract. All right, thank you, Mr. Penn. Any discussion? Any discussion by council? Uh, how much? How much is Aspen slated to use water-wise in a given day? Eighty thousand. I think it's about 80,000 gallons a day. They, a they, day, yeah. Yeah, they, they'll be one of our largest uh, customers. Basically two and a half million gallons of water every month. Good money. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Any further discussion by council? All right. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, let's move down to agenda item nine, consideration of a motion to execute a professional services agreement with Hudson Gay Bell Engineering in the amount not to exceed $93,870 to provide design, bid, 
easement acquisition services and contract administration services for the extension of sanitary sewer service to the Ramble Road subdivision to be paid with offer of funds approved in the CIP project number 32-E. Mr. Penn. Yeah, ma'am, I'm not sure I got to add a lot more. This will be our second subdivision where we have actually gone out and extended the sewer. But the Ramble Road area has been in the city for a number of years. We did the Fox Lake subdivision, so the Ramble Road area is the second area that we will have used ARPA funds to extend sewer way more to the end of that area. We already have our water system in there, and so we recommend approval so we can move forward with getting the project designed and hopefully uh, in the next 12 months get the system built and folks connected to our sewer system. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Penn. Any discussion by council? Uh, one quick question for uh, Jason. Um, what, uh, just for the record, for the folks who live on Ramble Road or who will be affected by this, what will the city, I mean, obviously we were putting the main line in, but what will the city cover as far as the individual uh, homeowner? Yeah, so we'll, we'll install all the main infrastructure, we'll install the laterals, um, we'll make the connection to the home, uh, we'll collapse their sanitary septic tank, uh, and we'll regrass and seed everything, uh, lay sod if we need to, back in the properties. Um, so we'll leave it better than we found it, uh, the full access connection. No, if you tie in at the time we do the work, um, if you like to tie in, then there's no charges, no ATC fee charges, no CAT fee charges. Um, but if you like not to tie in when we do that work and you come back at a later date, then you'll have to pay those fees later. I think in, in the Fox Lake area, I think we had maybe four residents that didn't take advantage of that service. <clears throat> and, and so we would hope that these, these folks would find it beneficial to go ahead and get on um, uh, with our wastewater system. Some folks may be concerned about the cost, but um, it, it, it is a valuable service to have. Mm -hmm. And it will cost them nothing to, to connect to. Yeah, I mean, the cost of redoing your septic is going to be a minimum mm -hmm. 10 grand. So, uh, and you're talking houses built in the 70s. So, you know, once your septic tank hits 50 years, it, wet concrete don't last much past 50 years. You know? So, uh, anyway. I just want to, you know, it's a, and this will be a gravity sewer, right? So they won't have a grinder or anything like that at their house, right? Or no? Not at each home. Um, oh, okay. So you're doing it centralized, okay? Yeah, there, there may be a central one. Um, That's our, right. Right. Our design has kind of changed a little bit over the years based on the needs of the area. Um, I can't recall um, what the final design looks like or final preliminary design obviously looks like. Um, and obviously, as we did with Fox Lake, we'll have full notification to the public and to the neighborhood so they'll know what's going on well in advance as we need work in the area. This, this right now is just the design phase. Yeah, I realize folks may see a, a minor uptick in their monthly fee, but long term, you're just so much better off looking up. It's just so much easier, the, the problems that you can have with your septic, especially in an urban and, or a suburban environment can be substantial. Yeah. So. And we do get complaints from time to time over the years, and I think some of you all have received some complaints as well. Uh, over mm -hmm. over Nobody complains to us. <laughs> about their safety things. <laughs> Especially as you see right now, these wet periods we have with a lot of rain during the winter season, you'll see more issues. Well, this has been, this pre far predates me, so it's good to see this coming. So. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Yes, all right, is there a motion to approve? So move. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. All right. We moved out to agenda item 10. Uh, it was consideration of a motion to approve selection of Goodwin Mills, Kate Wood, and authorize the city manager to negotiate a contract with Bullock County for the state for Bullock County Long Range Transportation Plan to be paid with Peace Blocks funds. Final contract to be approved by city council at a later date. Mr. Penn. Mayor, of the council, we, we went through a process to select a firm to lead us through the uh, transportation planning uh, and that's what we have for you today and we ask for your authorization for us to, to be able to work with Goodwin Mills Kwood. Uh, we will need to work with the county to uh, develop a contract that will come back to you for your final approval and so this morning we simply ask for your approval again of um, uh, Goodwin Mills and Kwood and your authorization for me to begin negotiating with the county. Recommended to you. 
in the discussion by council. So, <clears throat> yes, Mayor. Uh, so, Mr. Penny, it's already been a matter of uh, negotiating with the county to arrive at who we want to do this. Yes. So, it's so the process has begun. Yes. Okay, thank you. All right, any further discussion by council? Seeing that there is none, is there a motion to approve? So moved. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. All right, let's move down to agenda item 11, consideration of a motion to approve the purchase of a 2023 Ford Explorer for the state for a fire department for an amount not to exceed $55,000. <coughs> Mr. Payne. Thank you, Mayor, members of the council. Um, I don't know that I can add a lot more. We are asking that you authorize us to be able to purchase a, fire, a vehicle for the fire department. We did go through a process, uh, and I want to make sure this is um, this would be awarded to. Uh, we will purchase it from Woody Folsom Ford for a price not to exceed fifty-five thousand dollars. However, uh, the the amount, the base amount for the vehicle is forty-five thousand eight hundred dollars. We did go through a process to select this vehicle. We recommend approval. Okay. All right. Any discussion by council? Seeing that there is none, is there a motion to approve? So moved. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. All right. We move down to other business from city council. Any other business? Um. Good. I was just going to go ahead. Right. I was going to congratulate Ms. Chambers on being the mm -hmm. winner of the Storybook Character Contest. Oh, wow. She and others. Um, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so we, uh, five of us, four people in a go competed, and she was the winner. And we raised money and awareness about uh, children's literacy here in Bullock County. And raised some money to help buy books to send to free So good job. Thank you. Congratulations. And Ms. Chambers got some more good news, didn't she? Which could you Jim, Oh, yes. Would you like me to share that? Is that okay, Paulette? Yeah. It's Paulette Day. Yes. Council Member Chambers was uh, nominated to serve as third vice president for the GMA's 12th district as part of the state. So she's going to move on up in, in district leadership. Well, the election hasn't happened, but she's nominated and I'm yeah, There you go. Thank you. Likely to be in charge. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, anything else, uh, Councilman Boyd? Uh, yeah, I just wanted to. Um, I guess just let folks know I, I did that city gym tour that was a result or part of the uh, you know the health care benefit that the HR set up which I thought was a, a really good idea um, it's always uh, fun for not necessarily fun but it's always interesting for me to go through the stuff that the employees are going through to kind of see um, uh, what we got going on and so the you know the gym and, and then with the new full-time trainer we have there I mean just that I mean, keeping our people healthy uh, is, uh, is, is important. Uh, it's hard enough to find good people, much less let them get hurt. So mm -hmm. um, along, along that line, I know we use the gym. I know the, the fire department uses the gym as actually part of their uh, work requirement. Do, is, no, is that employees do too. Huh? No, the city employees do too. Well, well, I know, but I mean, the fire department does that as actually part of their physical training, which is something they have to keep up. Is that, does the police department have somewhere? I know we do training, but I don't know that they do the physical training part. Okay. But my thought was, is maybe we could think about with budget season coming up, um, our public works folks and our street folks, you know, um, making that a part of their benefit like hey two to four hours a month you can go and use the gym on on the clock because i think you know these are guys that are out you know carrying weed eaters and using sledgehammers and i mean really working hard so i mean having a situation where we kept them healthy uh and again i mean you guys know hr can tell you uh public works and streets and not easy to find folks to do that so the last thing we want to do is is uh but I think it would be a good benefit for them, have mental health, physical health, uh, work some kind of a deal in where we assign say, hey, uh, and you guys have to work out the numbers, but somewhere in the neighborhood of two to four hours on the clock, you can go to the gym, you can get their services, keep yourself healthy. So you can keep the trees healthy and keep the grass cut. <laughs> and, well, you know, blow out, blow out all the leaves from all the leafy trees we planted by sidewalk. You know, like <laughs> Well, we, we do appreciate that. I will say that HR, working with uh, a number of our partners, 
uh, in, in Statesboro. We are doing some pretty amazing things. And, mm -hmm. and we, we right now we're participating in a program um, with a young lady from Georgia Southern where we are providing opportunities for people to learn more about hypertension. They actually come in they, and they, they come in here and, and our folks are coming in on city time to be evaluated and then they come back the next quarter and they're giving them a different thing. So, so we appreciate mm -hmm. the recognition, but we also recognize we've got to make this time available to our employees to, mm -hmm. to, to be healthy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Well, and my thought is we use, uh, you know, we, we send us to training to, to be better at our jobs. Our, our, our fire department, our police department both do training to be better at their jobs. And, you know, these are guys that do a lot of physical work. So, hey, if we can give them a couple of four hours a month to, to be physically healthy and go see a trainer, make sure you're you're wearing your equipment properly, all that kind of stuff, it, it, it can make a big difference. And these guys work in the heat. They work hard, you know. I, I actually think we are working with our here. folks out in the field and, and they do the, the trainers that are going out into the field to work with folks that come with work. In the field. Yeah, and, and that's great. I would, like I said, I just wanted to put, like, I know the fire department is in part of their right. work schedule. It would be great to be part of our public works and streets work schedule. Now, like I told you, I've told you many times, we don't make any product. And so our, the most important asset that we have is our human capital, our employees. And, and y'all have, have done a lot of stuff to make sure that they're taken care of. Mm -hmm. And we appreciate it. Well, and they do a good job. This is definitely a prettier place than it was 10 or 12 years ago. And, and you know, a lot of that is because of the city staff and the hard work that they do. So, um, mm -hmm. you know, we need to re not only recognize them, but make sure we keep them healthy and happy. And sure that in case. Mm -hmm. I have two more items I wanted to mention. Hey, please. Down. <laughs> so we're talking about um, the fire department. Is, is Chief Grimes in the hall? Hey, yeah, you are. Behind the column mm -hmm. from me. So maybe we could just take this occasion to highlight the fact that we're hiring firefighters. Between the uh, being down a few and the safer grant, we're looking for 19 more firefighters. Come be a hero for the city. Any uh, people you know who are able-bodied that are interested. And there's going to be something different on April the 12th. Is that right? Tell yeah. us about it. So April 12th, we'll have open interviews where you can literally walk in, fill out your application, get an interview, go through the physical agility test, and uh, potentially walk out that same day with a conditional offer. So we're trying to fill them as quickly and as efficiently as we possibly can. Great. We that 180 that. days has started. We, we recognize the, the same way of doing business will not work. That's because right. if, if we if we waste time, we're gonna we're gonna lose. Uh, this evening, and Ms. Barr on that same point. This evening, we are doing a, a job fair uh, out at uh, Georgia Southern at uh, Lee Smith. Lee Smith Langston. And what time? Four to seven. So, so, so we have many departments. Ten departments will be on site interviewing. Mm -hmm. Wow! Thank you. Hey Tim, what what are the minimum requirements? Uh, high school diploma or equivalent, 18 years old and uh, clean background. Oh, so they don't have to have gone to fire college yet? That's cool. Okay. Yep. Hey. okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Normally, I mean, in, in downtime, slow times, it's like you got to go to OTC, get your full degree, and then come and apply for us. I mean, this that's an amazing opportunity, really. Mm -hmm. It really is. That's 19 jobs. We've extended, I think, five or either six conditional offers because okay. uh, we've had two of those open air dates thus far and okay. they've been pretty pretty successful i think we've got a couple of part-time guys uh, gals okay. <laughs> you take them. Mm -hmm. you take them all that's right okay. go ahead Ms. thank you each yeah. job comes with a pillow right chief i do have a number of comments i could share but i'll hold my <laughs> <laughs> and we're all grateful for that miss <laughs> <laughs> Barr. Um, yes, so the other thing I wanted to mention is Earth Day celebration this this year. What KSBB and the city are doing is having a whole week of opportunities to make this place greener and cleaner and happier and healthier. So on the April on the Earth Day week, which is the 17th through the 21st of April, you can show up down at the DSDA office downtown between two and four, and they'll tell you where the work is that day. They can get lit out of Lots Creek one day and do different things each day. 
but especially if it's pretty weather. Come out and do something nice for the city. Meet other people who care about how we look and how we function. Two to four each day, Monday through Friday, 17 through 21. Okay. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we move down to city manager's comments. Well, I, I think we've already done a lot of the things that we mm -hmm. want this one. Uh, you good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. Let's see your I hope to you. Go ahead. I didn't see you. Yes, it's just that we both thought it was important. Sharing field, but still in thunder. <laughs> it's good thunder, though. It's good thunder. Yeah, that's good stuff. Um, with that being said, let's move down to public comments. We did have one person signed up, um, uh, Mr. Vincent Borkowski. Okay, all right, so, yep, and not in here. So we'll move down to agenda item 15, which is consideration of a motion to enter into executive sessions, to discuss personnel matters, um, uh, real estate and legal. Uh, is there a motion to go into executive session? So moved. Is there, a, is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. All right. 